Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about these major sticker capsules and a few other things that have been happening on the market as of recent and kind of analyzing them and talking about why these things are happening. Before we get to that though, I did want to go ahead and shout out CSGO Float. I am affiliated with them right now and I think they're an absolutely incredible site. If you saw me talking about them in my previous video on the site guide, you'd see that my honest opinion of them is actually very, very positive. I think they're a great site and they do offer player to player trades that are not actually going to require your API. API key, which is super cool, and they also offer really good prices and a really specialized inventory. You can get a lot of really cool Kato items and float items on that site. So if you want to check them out, please use my link in the description below. All right, guys, so if you're a CSGO investor, you may have looked at the market recently and said, wow, what is happening with these things? Why are the autograph capsules rising so much in value? And it's not just the Berlin capsules, of course, it's the Katowice 2019 capsules as well. So pretty interesting to see these things finally taking off. And we do know as of recent that these capsules are actually way higher priced than they usually would be around the same kind of time with the same kind of capsules. So there's definitely something going on here. So let's talk about that. So the Berlin Miner Autograph Capsule actually rose up to around $1.25 at its peak and has now fallen to around $1.05 currently. So what the interesting thing here is, is that this is actually way higher priced than most people would probably believe them to be at this current moment. This is certainly an unusual price for these capsules compared to previous capsules of previous years and how those perform, especially because Berlin has such a long sticker sale. And so clearly we know that there's something that's not really a normal market factor that's actually happening here, which is boosting their prices. And in fact, that is the case. There is an abnormal thing actually affecting the prices. So this abnormal factor that I'm talking about is actually going to be something called snowballing. And I've talked about this previously with the Desert Eagle Emerald Jormungandr and also the Augmentite Lily being something that could potentially snowball to much higher prices. However, the difference between those items and the Berlin capsules is that those items are actually a lot lower quantity than these items like the capsules for autographs. So the main thing here is that the snowball is actually going to crash and crumble, unlike what would likely happen if a snowball occurred with the Desert Eagle or the Augmentite Lily. Now clearly we're going to see normalization with the Desert Eagle or the Augmentite Lily if a snowball does occur, but we're not going to see a complete crash like we will with these Berlin capsules and the Katowice 2019 capsules. So these things actually snowballed like crazy. The main thing that happens here is basically when these items start to rise, people who are investing in these items see them rising really fast on the marketplace and they decide that they also want to buy into them, which further causes their price to rise faster and faster and grow bigger and bigger, just like a regular snowball would. However, at the end of the snowball is a very high quantity, very highly invested into capsule, and that means that these prices are really just prone to crashing, which is really unfortunate, but if you did sell off at the peak, then you did make a lot of money. Clearly, these items are around $1.05 right now, so the crash has only sort of began, but not fully come into play, and we have seen in the past that these stickers are around 65 to 70 cents in value at a normal time. The main reason that I don't like to make videos on snowballing items is because the dire crash that happens at the end of them pretty much just normalizes their price back to the where they were before, and so it's not really a normal factor to talk about these snowballs. However, I saw a lot of people talking about this, people who I guess would claim that they know how to invest in CSGO items, but probably don't because they think this is a pretty permanent change, when in reality, not so much. We actually saw some snowballing occurring with the Shadow Rub case over the past couple weeks as well, where it rose almost to around $2 USD in price, and it was around $1.35 before that. And it actually ended up crashing all the way back down to $1.40 or $1.30, and then rose back up to around $1.50, which that's currently right now. So we can see a pretty large snowball with that, and it's kind of the same thing there. People see the item rising, so they continue to buy the item, which just causes the prices to spike very high and then crash. Now, I didn't really explain in detail why these prices are actually crashing, but the main reason here is basically there's going to be investors that have held onto the capsules for a long time and basically are waiting for a peak like this to happen where they can actually sell their stock off. So when the item continues to rise in price, we actually have a little bit of pushback from people who have invested in the item like crazy and are actually dumping their stock, which causes the price to go lower and lower because people are undercutting each other. At the moment, the Berlin capsules have already dropped around 20 cents, which means that for an item that's worth $1.25 at peak, this is actually a pretty major drop and definitely something we can consider a crash. I would expect these to go a little bit lower as well, just because I think the dollar price point is still a little bit high for them, and I think that they're still going to have a lot of quantity that people are going to sell off, which could result in a lot lower prices than what we currently see. 
but I think that $1.05 is actually a sort of sustainable price if it does stay around that area. So we'll just have to see what happens there, if it's going to go even lower or if it's going to kind of maintain this price. If you are invested in these Berlin capsules or I guess the Katowice capsules as well, you can actually sell off right now. Obviously, you are probably in profit if you were holding before the snowball occurred. And if you are selling off right now, you are still in profit, of course, compared to their normal price before the snowball. So I would say that if you want to sell off now, it could be a good time for you to gain some profits. However, I do think that the prices are still going to go higher as they are capsules and that's how they perform in the long run. But yeah, that's going to conclude the segment for the capsules. That is pretty much what I think about them. I think they were just completely snowballed. I mean, that's pretty obvious by the fact that they've already crashed around 20 cents over the course of like a day. So pretty obvious thing there. Also happened with the Shadow Rub cases, of course. So if you guys want to sell off now, again, there's a little bit of profit to be made, but you could probably make more if you continue to hold on to them. There are a lot of people that have invested into these capsules like crazy, so there's still a huge amount of stock that's being held by people that would potentially dump it at a point, which would crash their price even further, so just keep that in mind. Now, I actually wanted to talk about something else as well for this video in terms of market rises, and that's actually going to be some foil items that we saw doing very well on the buff market recently. This includes crown foils and, of course, swag foils. So these both really spiked up on the buff market, which also caused their steam market price to rise a little bit. Swag foils went from around 73 cents that they were trading for for about a week or so, and now they're at around $94, so definitely a pretty big increase there, at least on the Steam community markets. And of course, on Buff, we did see huge rises in these prices. I was actually able to sell off my swag foil for a decent amount over what it was originally at when I unboxed it. However, the items did end up falling, and they did decrease around about 10% or 13%, which is still less than what they rose by, so you could still make some profit there. However, it's definitely not at the peak price. As for explaining why this actually occurred, I would say it's actually a greater interest from the Chinese community and these foil stickers. They are very good looking, of course, and I did notice that people who bought my swag foil were actually interested in buying a lot more of them. So the interesting thing there is I think a lot of people may have been interested in crafting them in the Chinese community or may have just been interested in hoarding them in the Chinese community. So either way, that's probably why the prices rose so much. Obviously, they have huge coffers and they're able to buy a lot of items. So I think that's probably the reason why they rose up. Clearly, we don't know for sure and there's not really any way to know for sure. But that's probably going to be the best guess. So that's basically what I think about these market movements. Hopefully, this was able to clear up some things for you guys. I did want to mention that pretty much all autograph capsules did see a meteoric rise, which is probably just due to the fact that they were kind of having a shared experience some of the autograph capsules would see a rise and therefore it would kind of trickle down to the rest of the autograph capsules on the marketplace so that's probably why they all saw sort of a rise in general but are probably now going to crash quite a bit and i would say if you're holding on to these maybe try to sell them at a higher peak if they do rise anymore and probably try to get rid of them if they sell too low and definitely don't buy on the peak that's the worst thing you can possibly do do not buy on the peaks that's a terrible idea you will only lose money however if you're in for the long run i would say just keep holding on to these items. Obviously, this is not going to affect you. This is sort of a short-term market movement that I just wanted to explain, and I think in the long term, these are still going to make you even more money. So just hold through this, and not a big deal there. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for checking out this video and taking time out of your day to come spend it with me. Again, hope this actually cleared some things up with these market movements. I saw some people were probably confused and didn't really know exactly what was happening. If you guys are interested in subscribing to the channel, make sure you click that big red button. It does help me quite a lot. And of course, click that like button if this did help you, and you want to help me out with the algorithm. Leave your comments below about what you think about this and i will see you all next time peace make sure to check out my float market link in the description below it does support me and it's a great marketplace for you to support as well oh and of course check out the social link in the description below to my discord or reddit if you have further questions